This is an enormous one. It's like the size of my hand. Look at that. Hello, Ben and Rebecca here with His and Hers Alaska, and today we're going to show you how to clean Alaska razor clams. So if you didn't catch it, check out our previous video. We just got back from clamming over at Polly Creek on the other side of Cook Inlet. We're hanging out in the Nilchik this weekend on the Kenai Peninsula. And uh, we've got Alaskan razor clams, a couple buckets full that we picked up over there. And we're sitting outside in the sunshine, going to clean a few clams and... Have a cocktail. Yeah, have a cocktail. And, and then a clam fry afterwards. Yes. The best part of going clamming is you burn so many calories clamming that you get to justify a clam fry at the end of the day. All right, so before we get started, I'm gonna show you everything that we have to clean clams with. Um, first of all, we've got some really nice sharp knives. You can kind of use any kind you want. I like herring knives, Ben likes fillet knives. Um, it's just whatever your preference is, you kind of try stuff out until you figure out what you like that works. We also have borrowed an outdoor cook stove yeah. from our friends Eric and Jeanette at Generic Ramblings. And we're boiling some water. If you blanch the clams before you try to cut them, then they open up and they're much easier to get out of their shells than if you try to do it when they're cold. It really saves a lot of time. We also have some salt water to put them in when they're done. We have some plain water to rinse them in. And then we've got a couple of, uh, we've got a storage bowl, extra bowl. And we've got a colander to dip them into the water. You don't want to cook them or anything. You just quickly blanch them in the water and they'll instantly open up. You only want to leave them in like 10 to 15 seconds. So. Um, got lots of cleaning boards here, and we're going to get started. This is what an Alaska razor clam looks like. Quite large, you can see it's about the size of my hand. Not all of them are this big, but the vast majority of the ones we got today are about this size. So they are absolutely delicious, perfect for clam chowder, clam fries, clam and wine sauce, whatever you want. And uh, we'll show you what they look like on the inside here in a few minutes. Time has arrived. We are going to blanch these clams. Try not to burn yourself when you do it. You can hear them when you put them in the water. They start to pop and crackle and release their water and see or release their air. Then they just pop open for you. As soon as they pop open, you want to take them back out so you don't cook them. That's all there is to blanching. Done deal. Now they're ready to be cleaned and cut out of the shells. We've blanched our clams. We have water to rinse in, and we have a place, a bowl to put the clean clams in with a little bit of salt water. So I'm going to show you how we clean clam. This is an enormous one. It's like the size of my hand. Look at that. So. First things first, you, you don't want to waste this button meat, it's really good, and so you just take your knife, um, it should come off really easily because it's blanched, but you want to make sure you catch those little buttons, they're um, down on each, right at the edge of each side of the clam. Then this will just peel away from the shell, and toss that to the side. First thing you want to do is trim off this black part. So once it turns back to the normal color of the clam, you can cut that off, okay? Then, we want to separate the bivalve from the foot. Easiest way to do that is just kind of come up here, follow this line, cut this open, and then you expose the innards. You can see the lungs right here. I usually go ahead and cut the bivalve right then, so I can really open it up. <clears throat> Make it easy, I can do one, one or two cuts here and get everything out. So then I cut the foot off. I cut as close as I can so that I get all the meat. Then there's all of the innards. So if you run your knife <clears throat> down the foot all the way to the edge, then it just fillets open nicely. These are so big that sometimes you have to cut them back even a little bit more. 
then you can just scrape out all of the goo inside. There's the neural tube. You can see here. You want to leave this uh, more yellowy colored stuff. It is really tasty. Inner juices makes it makes whatever you're making later taste extra special. Just get all that goo out. Probably have to rinse at this point. Almost got all of the innards out here. Don't be afraid to rinse. Rinse, <coughs> rinse, rinse. You get rid of all the sand. There's lots of sand in these when you clean them. There we go. Nice and clean, right? Lovely. It's a good looking foot. Yep. Just throw it in there, and now we're going to move on to the rest. We'll go ahead and rinse this off. So as I showed you earlier, I've already cut the bivalve open. <clears throat> and I'm going to take this long material and cut it away. One thing you want to check for, when you pull these away from the um, shell, you get this green lining. You want to make sure that all of that is gone off of here. You can see that this one doesn't have any. So we're all good. And at this point, you just rinse now. Rinse, rinse, rinse. And see the little buttons are still intact. And now, is all nice and clean and ready to eat. That is a huge piece of meat. It is enormous, isn't it? So we are uh, fair ways into the process. And we have this whole bowl full of uh, all edible meat. We are all done cleaning clams and uh, thanks to the help of a uh, friend Eric from Generic Rambling blog. Uh, we were able to get through it about 33% quicker. We have a uh, bucket full of guts and shells that need to be returned to the sea. And we set aside some tonight for our uh, clam fry. So I'm gonna make a run down to the beach and uh, return these things back to nature. And then uh, stay tuned for our next video as we will show you how we like to fry up our clams after a long day of digging. So if you like our videos, please be sure to subscribe to our channel and give them a thumbs up. Thanks again for watching.